Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life that's content. Well, usually we surround ourselves with, if we can, the most beautiful woman of our lifetime. And I did that for a marvelous 20 years. I had the most beautiful Japanese girl I could have in my life. So when someone tries to introduce me to another Asian, I say, no thanks. I've had one, and I'm not going to replace that with any other one. You see, my wife was my wife. My spouse in this lifetime of most of my life was my wife. So why would I ever do that? Now, I realize there are men with fetishes. I realize there are men with preferences. And they only want to deal with an Asian woman. But I've dealt with enough Asian women to know that one's enough. And I say that in tongue-in-cheek in a way because my wife was really everything to me. But my everything shifted after she left in her heart, in her mind, in her soul, and who's to say exactly when that started to evolve, but I talk about that quite clearly in my book, but you know, a marvelous woman came into my life after the loss of someone else that was significant to me. So those two most important people at that time in my life, in my personal life, that is, and in my professional life, that came in like a thunder and literally did me under, after the loss of those two women, I prayed a prayer and another came in, almost matching to a T what I needed. But when I talk about this, people don't get how powerful the prayer to God can be. That on your knees, in front of your prayer altar, that someone who's a friend of yours, like one of my prophetic friends, taught me to build and maybe mentioned to me to do, or maybe I saw hers, I can't even remember how I decided to build an altar to the Lord. Maybe I was reading the Bible, I don't remember, but I miss my altar. And on my altar, I always kept the photos that were important to me of my marvelous professional friend who I loved and my new soulmate that came to me. I didn't have many photos of my soulmate's children because there just wasn't that opportunity. But she came in through an educational network and she answered almost every prayer. But then people tainted all those relationships and probably even the one with my marvelous spouse who was Japanese. But a man who is trying to close up something correctly and personally and spiritually and intimately is going to take his time to pick the next person that's right for him. You see, when you've loved the same person for a lifetime practically, you're thinking about, how do I replace this? And for the longest time, I slept with a whole bunch of our extra pillows on the bed next to me. So if I rolled, I felt something there which was what I was accustomed to doing because my Japanese girl, as petite as she was, was solid as a rock. And that was hard for me to not feel that there. But eventually I learned to toss and turn a little more and take up a little bit more of our queen-size bed, and that was okay by me. But that doesn't mean that I wasn't preparing for who God brought to me on prayer. And both of the two women, who were probably beach bottle blondes, that came to me, at least one of them made it that, I don't know about the other, were coming to me on prayer, profound, deep prayer. And the second one that came in to help me to heal is the reason that I produced a work on God. And I can remember the Lord speaking to me through the way that I speak to God when I was very early in my practice of the faith fob, the pendulum, and I still fuck up that pronunciation, sorry about that. But what I'm saying to, to you is that the one that taught me allowed me to teach another. And openly, one is a friend and one is a lover. Or maybe the marvelous Lord has a different plan for all of us. But the truth is that only prayers, profound prayers, produce for us the things we need for our lives, not for others. 